when Ketu is in different houses, then what small changes you can make to make sure that this Ketu gives you the best of results is what I'm going to deal in this video. If the Ketu is situated in the first house, in that particular scenario, first of all, you should be detached. Detached with the result of what you are doing, what Krishna mentions as Karma Yoga. That you should practice, you should do work, taking things as a responsibility and should not be attached with the result of it. Along with that, your approach should not be very orthodox. And you should be flexible in your approach and in your thinking. Don't draw straight lines for things. And make sure to take care of health. Proper exercise is needed. Right? Regularly take care of yourself. Your attire and all of these things. Take care of it. Ketu in ascendant people are generally intuitive but they don't follow their intuition to listen to the inner voice. And don't get swayed by the views of others and what your, you know, circumstances are saying. Just listen to the inner voice. That will generally be true. Ketu in the ascendant people, when they don't inner to their, when they don't listen to their inner voice, then it becomes problematic for them is what I have seen. Ketu in the ascendant, you should always wear something around your neck. You say a necklace or anything like that, both males and females, wear something around your neck, that will be good. Wearing silver in any form in body, not over neck, but in other areas, you say in thumb, you can take a silver ring, you can wear a silver bracelet, right? Woman can wear silver pile also. That wearing silver you should do for Ketu, that is also very good. If possible, try to visit temple regularly or on regular intervals, right? Every week, every 15 days, every month, visit temple, nearby temple or on a pilgrimage, whatever seems suitable. And if the health allows after proper consultation of a doctor, one should also consume Aswagandha. That is also a very, very good remedy for Ketu. If you have Ketu in the second house, then make sure that once in a day you eat with your family. If not with family, then with near and dear ones, those whom you consider your own people. If possible, live near a water body or have a water body in your home, a small fountain, aquarium, anything will work. Donation of money to temple and donation of food generally to people, specifically donations to blind people or organizations dealing with eyesight, eye care, etc. will be very beneficial. Whenever you meet some spiritual person, try to donate something to them. If you donate something to them, if you come across any spiritual organization, uh, charitable organization, also try to donate to them. Specifically donation of spiritual items, religious books, religious clothes, etc. will be very good, very beneficial for Ketu in the second house. If there is Ketu in the third house, then make sure to keep your hands very clean and clear. Watch your, the growth of your nail, having proper manicure and trimming your nails properly like, you know, on time is recommended. That will be good. If possible, gift clothes or any article of clothing to your siblings. You should be very transparent, clear, ethical and moral in your financial dealings. If possible, listen to spiritual discourses or bhajans at least 15-20 minutes every day. More will be good. Wearing something in ear, piercing your ears will be very beneficial. Consumption of non-vegetarian food, specifically seafood, should be avoided. If possible, engage in spiritual activities, visiting temples and, you know, doing things for the promotion of your religious beliefs and ideas. If possible, you should do that. That will be very beneficial for you. Ketu in the fourth house, do not be too much 
clinged to your mother loving your mother being loving your mother is okay but over attachment with mother uh, is not very good so make sure to give equal weightage to other relationships in life as well making property related decisions in haste is not to be done right and having jealousy or enmity within family extended family included should be avoided at all cost whenever possible take care of public resources you can donate something to public parks you know donating chairs or anything as such or working for the beautification of public things public roads parks etc will be very good very will be very beneficial before you enter into a property or before you you know uh, like purchase a new office or start working there make sure to do bhumi pujan with the help of a proper priest right and should keep something on ground for the consumption of animals around your property that will also be good this should be done in evening this will be considered as bali vaishudev i have talked about it before also this should be done donation of spiritual literatures books etc will be very beneficial donation of blankets hat cap bed curtains bed sheet these things to poor needy people or to temples will be good feeding cows will also be very beneficial reading chanting listening to adya stotram that is of goddess kali is also very good and very beneficial ketu in the fifth house whenever you are going to implement any idea regarding your education take advice from elders take advice from others regarding which education you should pursue and how you should use your knowledge consult people around yourself and take their opinion also worship ganesha having multiple idols of ganesha as in you know someone being a collector of ganesha idol with ketu in the fifth house i have seen it is very beneficial in fact ketu in the fifth house i have seen even some muslim people are attached to ganesha worship as well other hinduism related practices as well so that should be done feeding animals is highly recommended wear that type of clothing have that type of attire which reflects your religious beliefs is also very good users of iron items right iron chair iron table iron utensils whenever possible should be avoided taking note of everything maintaining daily diary or taking note of specifically financial transactions etc maintaining uh, records of things by properly writing it is also very beneficial for ketu in the fifth house if you are having ketu in the sixth house then make sure not to go in litigation with your siblings and with spiritual people don't fight with spiritual people even debates should be avoided to poor and needy people donations whenever possible should be done to diseased people also you should donate charity based hospitals you should also donate there or serve them in any capacity that you can do feeding dogs taking care of stray dogs is beneficial and one should try to give gifts to their mother even one small gift per month will be very good that you should try to do right ketu in the seventh house you should be ethical and moral in your relationships you should understand your responsibility towards your spouse and do your 100% to fulfill those responsibilities most importantly arguments with spouse life partner should be avoided under all conditions early marriage with ketu in the seventh house is not very good so marry after the age of 28 29 only right as much as you can delay you should have delayed marriage and if possible marry only after proper financial professional settlement and after having good level of understanding good level of maturity only otherwise it is not good if you happen to cross any river while traveling try to throw something into river for the fishes to eat or give coins throw coins in the river that will also be very beneficial for you 
engaging in unnatural sexual activities such as masturbation, etc. Unethical sexual activities should be avoided under all conditions. Right? Wearing something around waist is also recommended. Generally in you know Bihar UP, this tradition is there that if some child is found to have balarishta or combinations for bad health or early death, these combinations are there. Then a black thread is tied around the neck, sorry, tied around the waist, attached with a right small tabij squarish box of cloth, having some sesamum seeds enchanted with mantra into it. So keeping this particular thing in mind, if you can get it around your waist, it is good. Otherwise, wearing anything around your waist will be very good. Woman can wear jewelry also. Males should wear yellow, red or black thread around their waist. This will be very, very beneficial. One should take care of public resources, donate something for public uses, right? beautification of roads, public roads, public parks, and whatever contributions you can make towards it should be done whenever possible with Ketu in the 7th house. If Ketu is there in 8th house, then you should not be an introvert. Share your things and ideas with people. Take their advice specifically with family members, spouse, near and dear ones. You should share things with them. One should always have you know, some extra fund for difficult and troubling times. With Ketu in the 8th house, that will be very beneficial. Do anything, speak anything only after proper planning and proper thinking. Just doing things out of blue is not recommended at all. One should listen to their inner voice. Listen to what your heart is saying. Don't pay much attention to what people are saying and circumstances, but li listen to your inner intuition. And if that is difficult, which can be, then engage in the practices of meditation, etc. Along with that, Sattvic bali of cucumber or coconut, etc. should be done. Best remedy will be that you take a coconut, that water one, the water coconut that you take. Take it in a temple with you and give it to the temple, give it to the deity. Once every month, once every 15 days, once every week will be good depending on the urgency of the situation. This should be done. Institutions and organizations working on doing charity, you should try to help them by financial donation or by working for them or by propagating their beliefs and ideas. All right. In whatever way possible, work with charity, work with institutions dealing with charity. If you have Ketu in ninth house, then regular visit to temple, occasional visit to pilgrimages will be very good. You should obey your fathers and other, other elders in family. You should be spiritual and learn about the practices, customs and beliefs of different religions as well. Whenever possible, donate to religious organizations. Listen to religious discourses. Visit your birthplace. If you are already living at your birthplace, then make sure to visit the biggest temple in the area on a regular basis. Biggest temple or the temple with maximum visitors, try to visit there. That will be very, very good. With Ketu in the ninth house. If you have Ketu in the 10th house, then be detached with your achievements. The Karma Yoga of uh, Bhagavad Gita, you should follow. Do work for the sake of Dharma. Don't do work with some expectations in your Mind, heart or desire and expectations in your desire should not be there while you are doing something. And most importantly, if something good is achieved, don't be egoistic about it. Don't boast too much about it. Dedicate it to the mercy of the Lord. That will be very beneficial. for you. Donate to blind people or organizations dealing to cure blindness or places where blind people live or study. Donate to them. That will be very good. Any family tradition or custom related to behavior or observance of any specific ritual or visiting a temple, if it is in your mind, you should staunchly, if you know about it, you should staunchly follow it. 
Gifting occasionally to your co-workers will also be very good. And whenever I use this thing now that you should visit occasionally or you should do this thing occasionally. By this, I mean that whenever you think that some problem is coming, then do it. You should go to pilgrimage whenever possible, practicing yoga, meditation and other practices which are also other exercising related Practices which are attached with particular religion should be practiced as much as possible. That will be very beneficial. Ketu in 11th house, making investments in stock market and making other risky investments should be avoided. Under all conditions, one should not focus on earning money, unexpected money or earning money through less effort, less hard work or earning money very simply, one should not focus on such ideas. Otherwise, I have seen it becomes very problematic for people. Whenever possible, you should try to donate money to anyone you think is worthy of the donation. You should donate them. Marriage of poor females, whatever support you can do to them should be done. Financial aid for, you know, poor woman to marry or, you know, giving some gifts or donations in the marriage of females around yourself will be very beneficial. If possible, one should use multi, one should wear multicolored clothes, use multicolored bed sheets, curtains, etc. That will be good. One should also visit places which are dedicated to gurus. So Gurudwaras or, you know, organizations or temples related to connected with some very prominent guru or other spiritual figure one should visit there and feeding birds is also a very good remedy with ketu in the 11th house if ketu is in 12th house then you should take time out for yourself engage in practices such as meditation writing diary contemplating on yourself etc Grooming properly, wearing neat and clean clothes, having a good attire, taking care of yourself is highly recommended. Donations to spiritual people and organizations is also good. If the health and other medical conditions allow, then consumption of ashwagandha, that is an herb, is also very good. Small yogic practices of yoga such as pranayams like bhastrika, etc. should be practiced on a regular basis if possible. Meditation like tratak, if possible, should also be done. One should, every two months, one should go on traveling for leisure purposes. That will also be very good. Donation to organizations working in different countries internationally will also be very good. And whenever possible, one should donate something to people living in jail or people who are isolated, separated from families. Whichever way possible, any way possible of helping them, you should help them. That will also be very beneficial with Ketu in the 12th house. All these things that I have told you, do it for one, one and a half year. And you will see how your life have transformed from the time you have started it to the end of one, one and a half year, you yourself will see and you yourself will realize that how much these small things contribute to our life. So do this and see the change yourself. Thank you for watching the video.